can these acoustic cameras really prevent this downtime? Some companies in the UK are losing between £23,000 and £100,000 in downtime because of these leaks. The way in which customers are now overcoming these obstacles is to utilise acoustic imaging. Our acoustic images are now able to detect where these leaks are, they're able to pinpoint them, and they're able to quantify them, which means now that they can actually schedule this into a preventative maintenance programme and stop these huge sums of money being wasted by unnecessary downtime. Luke estimates that conveyor system downtime can cost plants between 30,000 and 130,000 per hour, depending on the industry. That's roughly 23 to 100,000 pounds at the time of recording. Fluke also reckons its new i500, i905 and i915 acoustic cameras can prevent downtime and significant profit loss by detecting compressed air leaks or partial discharge quickly, simply and precisely. Really? Did you know that industrial plants using compressed air could be wasting up to 30% of this gas through leaks? This is inefficient and expensive. Traditionally, detecting compressed air or partial discharge required systems to be shut down, which, as we've already mentioned, could cost companies significant sums every hour. Thankfully, Mark Sherwood, Fluke's Senior Technical Sales Manager for the UK and Ireland, is here to tell us about Fluke's new acoustic cameras and how they can be used to find faults, reduce downtime and save you money. So, welcome Mark. Thank you. In episodes past, we've talked about Fluke's previous acoustic camera models, the IO900 and the II910. But we're here to talk about new ones this time, so which models will we be talking about? Okay. Well, Fluke have introduced three new models that have superseded the II-900 and 910. We now have the II-500, the II-905 and the II-915. So before we talk about these models, please could you tell us a bit about what acoustic imaging is and why it's advantageous? Okay, thank you very much. Well, acoustic imaging, it's designed to be a sound site technology. Ultrasound has been used in the market for several years now, but Fluke, with its new patented sound site technology, is able to listen for acoustic leaks and visualise them by receiving sound onto the microphones here and then mapping it over a digital image. So now the user can visually see where leaks are taking place using one of the three models in the series. So as you mentioned, the II500, 905 and 915 replace the 900 and the 910 acoustic cameras. Yes. So what's new about them? What improvements have Flute made? OK, well, the reason that we've had this is we're always improving technology and trying to offer the customer a little bit more for what they're paying for. And what it seemed is that there is more necessity to change what the requirements of those customers are actually needing. The 900 series was our first one of which we added some quantification to it and various other features as well. Sometimes customers aren't looking for that. And what they're actually doing is just purely for look for location to track down where these leaks are taking place. So what we've been able to do is offer an entry level model in the II500 that allows the customer to just use that technology that we have to just pinpoint where those leaks are and grade that from a severity of one to 10. Yeah. One being not so good and 10 being the worst possible one. And it just helps the customer gauge that. So that's why the II500 came in at that point. With that then and the reduction of products and features, if you like, that was on the 900, we we're able to offer that at a more competitive price than the 900 was. So it's very much come in as an entry level product. Mm -hmm. Then we move to the 905, which is a superseding of the 900 almost towards the 910, where it now quantifies those leaks for you and gives enhanced features as well. We've also put additional products in there as well and additional features such as um, new batteries that are charged in line, tripod fixings as well, just to give the customer that little bit more functionality that they may be looking for. And then the 915 just enhances that more. Again, batteries, tripods, and then on the 915, you get the added features of mechanical quantification and partial discharge quantification that aren't available on the 905 or the Find 100 as well. If you click the link in the box above, you can download Fluke's II Series Acoustic Imager brochure, which details all the advantages of these cameras. Next, we're going to find out why the II915 is an astonishing £7,000 more expensive than the II500.
Okay, so let's talk about these models in a bit more detail. Let's start with the simplest model, the II500. Sure. Please, could you tell us about its features, functions, and what it can be used for, please? Okay. Well, the II500 is our entry level to this series of products that we have. The II500 specifically foc focuses around detection of where these leaks are taking place. And by leaks, I mean compressed air leaks or gas leaks, basically. And what the IO500 does is it pinpoints where those are and rates them on a severity scale from one to 10. So it's there to identify where the leaks are and purely focus on that specifically. Once you've got those images, you can download them into the software, either the online program or the Flute Connect software. And that will allow you to produce report and obviously build up part of a preventative maintenance program. Okay, and can I just ask you about its frequency range and, and things like that? Sure. On the II500, uh, this is aimed at going around the 50, up from 0 to 50 kilohertz range. And again, it's used on multiple applications around various sites from food, beverage, pharmaceutical, whatever the industry, yeah. wherever gases are used. Great. And so now let's move on to the II905. So it's £3,000 more expensive than the II500. Why? What can it do that the sure. II500 can't? Okay, well, the IA905 is our, is our model there where we start to quantify the actual cost of these leaks. Mm -hmm. So what we've done is enhanced the 500 to have a little bit higher frequency range and over the 60 kilohertz frequency range up to. And with that quantification now, we obviously on the 500 would just focus on where the leaks were coming from. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to quantify what they are. So if we know what the system pressure is, of what your customer is using. And we know the cost of running the site, let's say as well. And we know the type of material that's in there, what gas it is. So is yeah. it compressed air or nitrogen or whatever it might be? We can then start to extrapolate some costs if that leak is left untreated for the period of one year. By running that through the report, we can then present that out as well. Great, thank you. And so the finally, we'll move on to the II915, which is the most expensive unit. It's sure. about £4,000 more expensive than the II905 and £7,000 more expensive than the II500. Sure. Um, so I'm thinking it's probably the most advanced model. Mm -hmm. So how sophisticated is it? Okay, well, again, this is the top of the acoustic family that we have at this moment. And the I915 adds extra features what are already available on the 500 and the 905. So where the 905 quantifies the leak for gases and compressed air systems, we added additional features like um, mechanical quantification or MEQ as we call it, and also PDQ, which is partial discharge quantification. This means it opens it up to a wider audience for more applications. So on mechanical quantification, it could be for the likes of roller journals and factories where they're moving things around a system for bearing wear and tear, or even things like on quarry systems where they're traveling long conveyor systems. That's where MECQ will come into its own. And then with PDQ or partial discharge quantification, that's used where people have potentially power lines flow in or part of an infrastructure where there's high voltages involved as well, or they want to look at the distribution of power. So it's used as a measure to help them quantify what that partial discharge is in that zone in that area. And we should say as well, it has a higher frequency range or a yeah. wider frequency range. That's exactly right. Yes, it does. It goes over 100 kilohertz, basically. So it does expand it on the other two there, again, covering for more permutations and higher levels of accuracy. Great. So considering all that, um, to whom or for what would you recommend each of these models? OK, well, now we have a wider series of products like we've just touched on there from the 500 to the 915. There isn't really an industry that if they've got a compressed system, whether it be, like I say, just air or some of the other gases that are there available to them, it pretty much opens up the market from everything from food and beverage through pharmaceutical, through to manufacturing, even to heavy industry and uh, utility type companies. Wherever there's a gas or wherever there's compressed air systems, one of the units is basically going to suit that applicational need that the customers have for just locating or through to quantification. And also, Jess, one of the other things to note is that in the 9 II905 and the II915, we have the flute connectability. What that means there is that there's inbuilt Wi-Fi in the unit that can actually communicate and send these images to your mobile phone app. And then obviously you can use them to forward onto the software as well. So it's just another little added bonus feature there. If you want to read more about the Fluke II series acoustic images, click the box above to download the spec sheet. Alternatively, follow the links in the description to our web listings, where you'll also find an option to purchase. Meanwhile, we're going to find out whether these cameras can really save you up to £100,000 an hour. As you mentioned at the beginning of the video, Fluke has found that conveyor system downtime could cost companies somewhere between £23,000 and £100,000 an hour. So can these acoustic cameras really prevent this downtime and help 
industries save tens, if not hundreds of thousands of pounds? And if so, how? OK, well, yeah, that's a very valid question. And again, we, we put this literature out there, if you like, and these cost savings because they are real savings that can be made. Now, the acoustic images, yes, they are what we like to call a preventative tool and help identify maintenance issues in real time as they're happening. So keeping it short and simple, yes, the answer is they can find the leaks and they can be a preliminary finder to obviously fault problems that may come later down the line. And obviously what we're hoping is that when we identify and locate these problems, these save customers large-scale shutdown problems. If a bearing was suddenly to go and motors were to fail and escape issues were a big cost and means shutting down entire lines where production costs can soon start to escalate, then yes, these are a very useful tool. And what they're doing by way of the severity scales that we have in here, they're a way of determining scheduled maintenance programs and helping you identify which should be treated first mm -hmm. and organised around shutdown periods. So they can obviously make these huge savings. Nobody wants something to be found at the last minute yeah. and problems to happen outright and cost significant amounts of money. So, yes, the units can save significant sums. I suppose then the other things to say is um, traditionally when you were um, conducting maintenance inspections using ultrasonic technology, like the, the acoustic stuff that you can only listen to, mm -hmm. um, you'd have to shut things down. Sure. But these can be used to conduct inspections during uptime. Sure. The best way of doing any kind of testing ideally is, one, non-intrusively, mm -hmm. and then secondly, whilst the plant is operating at, at its normal set, if you like. Yeah. So, yes, these are non-intrusive tools. Obviously, the units will work up to very large distances away with good line of sight. So as long as you've got a good line of sight of the plant and the equipment that you're looking to take a, a detection of, then, yes, it will find that and pinpoint it and give you that one, as I said previously, a severity scale of one to ten. 10 being obviously the worst situations. And then as we move up from just location on the II500 and then move to quantification in the 905 and 950, they can obviously then start to give you some real-time costs if left untreated. So as we move through the, the ranges and even up to the mechanical ones like you just mentioned with conveyor systems and big shutdowns, again, some plants, they literally are producing automotive vehicles, large bottling plants, let's say, pharmaceutical plants where there's lots of throughput. Having lines close for just an hour can obviously give significant penalty costs to the operational costs of the plant. So, yeah, there, there are real savings that can be made by using and investing in these pieces of equipment. That's great. But one of the concerns that we often hear about is whether acoustic cameras are accurate enough to pinpoint small leaks or minute parcel discharge. So are the, fluke, the new Fluke acoustic cameras precise enough to do that? You're absolutely right. There's a varied number of applications that we go and see from the slightest of pressure leaks, if you like, in systems through to very large venting. And our acoustic cameras are highly sensitive and can pick up the very smallest of pressurised leaks in systems, even vacuum leaks in some instances as well, where there's actually drawing that negative pressure. So, yes, you're right. Our cameras can do it. They can visualise it. They can pinpoint it. And like I've said previously, we can quantify them as well. I suppose one of the other concerns we often hear about is what, whether um, acoustic cameras will integrate seamlessly into existing fleets of tools, because obviously maintenance teams, they don't just use one tool. Sure. So what kind of advantages do the Fluke acoustic cameras offer in regards to both integration and streamlining reporting? OK, well, that's a, that's a very good question. The Fluke Acoustic series is, it's part of the Fluke Connect family, if you like, as well. And then we... In literally would use our images to collect the information and then we can feed them into the Fluke Connect family of tools, if you like, and reporting software that we have. So that can be utilised in conjunction with thermal imaging and mechanical uh, information as well as multimeters and clamps that all connect into that Fluke Connect family. Um, so that's one thing. The tool itself is an independent tool, if you like. It's designed to be a portable tool. It's a very intuitive tool and it's hands-on, as you can see. So... Yes, it integrates into software. We can capture more information, like I say. But again, it's a very much an individual tool and it's a bespoke application there. Nothing else is needed. You don't need to disconnect anything. You don't have to turn anything off. It's a completely uh, autonomous piece of equipment in that respect as well. And, and you say the 905 and the 915, they're Fluke Connect um, yes. enabled. So does that mean they can sort of um, 
communicate with other Flute Connect enabled tools? Sure. The connectivity that we have with that means obviously that we can use the Flute Connect app, if you like, to feed it into the Flute Connect software. And because there's Wi-Fi capabilities in the 905 and 915, we can obviously connect that to the, the network of the site, the way we're actually working as well. And what that means there, it can pre-populate that information from the unit into the cloud-based software as well. So again, it becomes seamless. It means then you don't have to take additional notes. You can enter in all the text mm -hmm. and all the details onto the unit and it will be at your desk basically on return. Remember, box above the spec sheet, links in the description for web listings and purchasing options. But don't go yet because we're about to reveal just how good your return on investment could be if you invest in a Fluke II series acoustic camera. I'm sure that maintenance engineers watching this know that a Fluke acoustic camera is going to make their job easier and more efficient. However, I'm also sure that Given the significant cost of these cameras, these same engineers are going to encounter resistance from financial departments when it comes to securing the funds to buy one. In light of that, what can engineers say to financial departments or their bosses to convince them that a Fluke acoustic camera is worth investing in? That's a fantastic question. And the quick and sharp answer to that is that there's waste, lots of waste. The thing to note here, Jess, is that every business in the UK is wasting money and is costing money. And this is just a hidden thing that people are not being made aware of. They can help bring down these significant cost savings if they're just to take some action. Those savings can be massive. Not only can they save money, but they can improve downtime, they can improve efficiency. <laughs> Using our acoustic images, they can not only find these leaks, they can fix these leaks, bring down the bottom dollar and start to save some serious money. So considering everything we have talked about today, is there anything else you think we should know about the Fluke II series acoustic cameras? Or do you have any real world stories about how they've helped people? OK, well, again, I've given you quite a lot of detail, if you like, on the images, but they are still a very unique, a very enabled tool that will help people make these significant savings and help them identify problems. Real world scenarios, all I can say is that every time I demonstrate this product, people are amazed how simple they are to use, how effective they are, and how visually quantifying these leaks and savings it represents. So yeah, Jess, you mentioned obviously if I've got any real world scenarios that I've recently encountered. And to be honest with you, yeah, I mean, only last week I was at a factory and we're doing the walk round and obviously the guy's thinking he's proud of his plant and he knows he's got some issues, but he doesn't know how many and he doesn't know where they are. And we're walking around and I'm literally using the acoustic image and showing the gentleman how to use it. And we find a leak there. And it's a token leak. It's only a few hundred pounds. And he's like, OK, that's fine. Then we walk further around the site and then there's another one. And their cost then on the next leak suddenly jump up and it starts to get to the 500 pounds mark. And we go a little further, then it gets to 600 pounds. And then by the end of the day, we found a couple of leaks over a thousand pounds in cost. Okay. And again, the difficulty for the gentleman was he didn't know they were there. Mm. And this is where these tools come into the road. It's the things you think you know, and then it's the things you don't know at all and don't expect. And that's where these units really come into their own. The plant was in full operation. He's just impressed with what it is. And again, some significant savings could be made because they really do start to add up very quickly. Sounds it, yeah. Yeah. And so finally, if you were to sum up the Flute Guy I series acoustic cameras in three words, what would they be? OK, well, it's a, again, a challenge, but I'll do my best there. I think the ease of use is one thing. So I would definitely say ease of operation. I think the non-intrusiveness, because, again, the plant is working. And again, it's in full operation. So it's the most realistic values that we can provide you. And then I think also the visualisation. Historically, like you touched on earlier, people used to use very unidirectional ones and had to be very sensitive with acoustic listening devices. With now making it visual, it's easier than ever to find these leaks, pinpoint them, and obviously put a quantification to how much that costs. Great. Thank you, Mark. That was very informative. Thank you very much. Um, hopefully, we have shown you the many ways Fluke's new acoustic cameras will save you thousands in downtime, compressed air leaks, and partial discharge faults. To discover even more about Fluke's II500, II905, and II915 acoustic cameras, click the link in the description, where you'll also find an option to, put, an option to purchase. Do check out all our past Fluke videos. There are quite a few of them now. And remember to subscribe. That way, all future videos will come straight to you, so you'll never miss an important development. Okay, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.